guys, now we're gonna enter into the interior here. As we move into the stairwell, again, I'm spending a little time here just because I want you to see the overall condition. A lot of times when you see an abused older coach, you'll see tremendous wear and tear and a lot of staining in the carpet in the stairwell, and that's not the case here. The stairwell is really clean. And as we move into the RV, I want you to pay particular attention to the condition of the seats. These leather seats are really, particularly when you consider they're a 2004 model coach, are really in great shape. Very little cracking right out here on the edge of the front bolsters. Other than that, there's no tears or rips. Really comfortable seating, power seats. Again, things I want you to notice that really give an indication to how well it's been cared for and where it spent most of its life. And you look at the dash covers, you don't see any peeling or cracking or really even any bleaching from the sun. Everything still looks fairly original. So again, really good shape. Engine's running now. You can see the odometer currently 93,333 miles. You've got your Allison automatic transmission controls over here to the left of your driver's seat. Your hydraulic leveling system's over here on your driver's side. You've got your in-dash Sony backup monitor, AM, FM, CD, cassette. And then they see up here in the front, there's been an updated Vizio flat screen TV. And guys, I've got another thing I want you to really look at as we zoom in on the ceiling here. <clears throat> These particular Winnebago's had what I call a carpet or tufted, tufted ceiling. And it's really easy to spot water spots in these types of ceilings. So I mentioned that saying that I don't see any anywhere, which is a good indicator that there's probably never been any roof leaks on this. And when you look at the pictures in the actual ad, you'll see the condition of that roof. It won't be hard to understand that that is the case. As you look at the at the rest of the upholstery, the, uh, the power sofa that's a sleeper, uh, the covering uh, has been taken off of it so you can see if they do keep it covered when being used. But as you can see, the fabric's in fantastic condition, really good shape. The kitchen area, as we go back to a wide angle for you here. Kitchen is a really nice setup. You've got the Corian stone style countertops. You got a three burner cooktop with an oven and a convection microwave. <clears throat> You've got a residential size sink with two, with two sides with travel covers. Nice oak cabinetry throughout the coach. Another thing that Winnebago is always known for was their custom cabinetry. And this is no exception uh, for its time and place. This was among the very best in, in construction that you could find in the RV industry was the Winnebago cabinets and woodwork. As we look down, the original carpet, which is kind of a Berber style carpet, still in really good shape. Transitioning to the tile floor in the kitchen area. Of course, you've got your double-sided Norco dual system refrigerator freezer. As we move back, of course, you've got your tank monitors in your control center, your generator start, your thermostat right here, and then you have your centrally located large bathroom. Now, I want you to really look at the layout of the bathroom because it really is great. You've got a super large corner mounted or corner located bathroom counter with those same counter Corian style countertops, lots of built-in storage, a big, wide berth, corner located shower with a recessed skylight, it gives you extra height inside. And then another really nice feature directly across from the main bathroom area is your toilet closet that I like to call it. You've got an elevated head with, an, with a wash down shower, more storage, and here's another great feature, guys. If you're looking for long stays on the road or even full-time living, this does come with a factory installed Splendid combination washer dryer unit. Again, a feature not commonly found on units under 40 foot. Of course, you've got privacy pocket doors, both coming into the bedroom, as well as going back out of the bathroom into the main living area. And check out the bedroom. The master bedroom's got a beautiful, beautiful uh, appointed cabinetry, just like the rest of the coach does. You've got a queen size bed with built-in nightstands on both sides. You've got recessed reading lamps. The slide out in the bedroom is really unique. The slide out in the bedroom actually contains the closet area and all of your dresser and drawers. 
not the bed itself. So even when that's closed, if you want to have access to the bed, it's a straight shot into the bedroom. The, the slide out does not affect the ability to enter and use the bed in the bedroom while traveling. You got a built-in flat screen TV. Of course, you've got your slide out controls back here. So as we move forward, guys, there it is again, the 2004 Winnebago Journey. The DL, this is a, they call it the DL34. It's just under 35 feet, and we call it a 35 feet, 35 foot model. If you got any questions, you can call the number on the screen. Reach out again directly to me, Shane Head, at 903-293-3851. If you want to set up a showing, make an offer. <clears throat> if you need assistance with financing, we do have lenders that can help you with that as well. For more details, check out the ad at poprvs.com. Thanks again for watching.